All right, Aaron, thank you all new for you this morning. There's a very rare and sometimes life threatening side effect from a chemotherapy drug. It is commonly used to treat curable cancer. Seven Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley met with a Depew family whose 35 year old brother died from a reaction to this drug. We had hope up until the day he died. You know, we all were like, he's going to pull through and Angela Murphy says her brother Chris Bramer of Buffalo died just a couple of months after learning he was cancer free. Bramer was diagnosed with testicular cancer more than a year ago. His chemotherapy treatments included a drug called bleomycin, but Murphy and her husband Michael say Chris knew there were risks. The drug doesn't select the cells it destroys. It's devastating. I'm absolutely heartbreaking. It's hard to go to like my family's house and you know, go there and where we grew up in the memories and stuff. So it's it's hard. In very rare cases, about 10 to 29 percent of patients will suffer a lung toxicity that can turn fatal. And it killed everything literally in his lungs. So, I mean, they, yeah. it, it cured his cancer, but unfortunately his lungs suffered for it. Bramer was having trouble breathing in April. His lungs were damaged and he had to be put on a ventilator. Ultimately, we'd love to see a change in medical you know, something, a new breakthrough, something, you know, where you can safely treat people. What you try to do with treatment is you're trying to find a sweet spot. Jason Sproul is an assistant professor at UB's pharmacy school. He studies adverse side effects of some cancer drugs. And then other things that we're looking at is genetics, um, trying to say, okay, well, this individual might be, might have genetics that make them a higher risk of having side effects so we can therefore lower doses. Sproul says they learn more every day. Chris's sister says despite her brother's adverse side effect to the drug bleomycin, she believes he picked the right treatment path. If, if they said, you know, he had a less than 10 percent chance to get a bleo lung, we wouldn't have changed it because what are the chances? You know, we're not. It's just so rare. Sadly, Bramer died on Father's Day, leaving behind four children, his fiance and parents. He was a landscaper described as a hardworking and loving dad who would work from sunup to sundown with a smile on his face. CJ, say hello, Dada. Hello, Dada. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. I have chills. On Father's Day, this father of four passes away because of such a rare side effect took hold of his body. And he, oh my gosh, you just feel for his family. It breaks your heart when you see those family yeah, photos. Yeah, terrible. That's for sure. All right, Eileen's story right now.